every prophetic word delivers by faith. That's a line of thought this week in the covenant hour of prayer. Now that means faith is key to actualizing any divine agenda. Faith is key. For blessed is she that believeth there shall be a delivery of that which was told her from the law. And faith is validated by a corresponding action. Show me your faith without your works and I'll show you my faith by my works. Corresponding action. James 2.18 God came down and warned Noah about the impending flood and asked him to build an ark. And the Bible says in Hebrews 11.7 Noah being warned of God moved. Moved. Now but listen it's not just making a move but making a timely move a timely move, a timely move that counts. Abraham believed God, but he made moves to validate his faith. So Abraham departed. Circumcised all the mayborn. So as soon as God um, finished speaking with him, it started as soon. Now, bring up your son for a sacrifice. Your only son, Isaac, whom you love. He rose up early in the morning, went ahead. No, it's not just about making moves. It's about making timely moves. Some many are making <laughs> belated moves. That only leads to frustration and lack of grace for delivery. To take delivery. Immediately I arose and I confirmed her with flesh and blood. <coughs> it's timely moves that validate faith. Whatever God can do, faith can make happen. And this faith is not just I'm believing God. Even sometimes I believe and it shivers. Faith is engaging with what God says that you claim to believe by your corresponding action. With man, this is impossible. Not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Who oh, I believe that report, then let him expect to see the hand of God stretch forth in his direction. Mark 10, 27, Isaiah 53, verse 1. Proven faith will bring God's hand to bear. And it's an ever performing hand. Ever performing hand. On wavering faith, we always bring God's hand to bear. And God's hand is up to anything He says. To deliver it.
it is fair to see the prophetic word sent your way this year to come to pass. And that faith is all about prompt response. Prompt response to every word you claim to believe. And it's validated by your corresponding action. Otherwise, it's fake. You have nothing to show, that's the meaning. Show me your faith without your works. And I'll show you my faith by my works. James 2.18. Now, in Matthew chapter 4, verse 19 and 20, Jesus said unto them, Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men. And they straightway left their nets and followed him. That's how the caucus of Christ came to be. Peter, James, and John. You can't make the most of any divine agenda without your prompt response of faith. You can't. Prompt response of faith. Galatians 1, Galatians 1, 15 and 16. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me, to, I mean, called me by his grace, to reveal his son in me that I might preach him among the hidden. Immediately, you can't make the most of any divine agenda, any prophetic timeline without our prompt response. Every time the prophetic water is stirred, dive, or you miss it. Dive into it, or it's over. This is very important. It's not about I'm believing, I'm considering. He doesn't wait for nobody. <laughs> in our early days in ministry, a senior colleague of mine, senior to me, calling senior to me in there, Grace. We were together one day and he said, the Lord told me that that building uh, it's where the church that we are going to plant will be. I say, if God tells you, move fast. He will tell somebody else now. <laughs> and somebody else took it. Somebody else took it. The story is long. If we can only see how much we have lost through belated response of faith, we will wake up and hit our own head. Wake up. Now the race is kicking off again. I mean, and then it begins with fasting and prayer. And if you give it a casual approach, you say, I have the same casual outcome. And nothing is happening. Nothing is changing. You just come to check on us on Sunday whether we are still alive or not. <laughs> Amen. I say, I believe you are all enjoying the fasting time. Amen. Yes. You are fasting for some of us. <laughs> Amen. Your crown, another one will not take. Yeah. Now, I'd like you to be, please be sure that God, I want to be aware that God has reserved a crown for you for the year. Hold fast to what he say, lest another man take your crown. Don't stop at prayer answering God. Switch over to question answering God. Amen. To pathway showing God what shall I do to inherit the kingdom? 
what shall I do to inherit my redemptive heritage? What shall I do to come out of this situation finally? I mean, are you asking that because of prayer, then there's an outbreak of light that shows the way. Let's maximize the season. There is nothing we know that will compare with what God shows. There is nothing we know that will compare with what God shows. There is nothing anybody among us knows that will compare with what God shows. By the little I knew about church growth and principles and analysis and all that, this is no place for church, sir. At least then. This, no place, no place. This road was one single road, I mean, uh, one lane road, and then it's free. From Sanko here, it's free ride. Free ride, no hold up, no nothing. And then it's good, leading nowhere. There. You can't say you are going somewhere, you branch there. You can't branch there. You have to come there on the mission. <laughs> so by the little things I knew, and I've been studying church growth for quite some time, and then we have a result to prove by the little things I knew. This is not a place. But by what he showed, this is the place. There, there is nothing we will ever know that will compare with what God shows. There is nothing we will ever know that will compare with what God shows. This time, God will show you amazing wonders. They try and knew about building and all that constructions. There is no way to build that church in one year. But by what he showed, he did. He what? He did. So don't be trapped by the little you know. Let him that think he knows anything. No, he doesn't know anything yet as he ought to. I've done all I need to do. Yet, the situation is still the same. No, you have done all you know to do. All you know, all you will know, all I will know till we go to heaven, we never compare with what he shows. God will show you the way forward. <laughs> you know, not like Paul saw. I know that. I mean, I know that. I, I, I read the book of Luke. I mean, Luke 19, 21. I know that. In fact, what he preached now was what I heard. 19, 28. <laughs> Amen. God will show you the way upward. Stand to your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Every divine agenda will only deliver by faith. How shall we work the works of God? The work of God is to believe. 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 John 6, 26 to 28. How shall this thing be? Belief. How do I prove it? Take steps. Timely steps. Make moves. Timely moves. And then it's delivered. Lift up your two hands. And receive grace. To make the most of this forthcoming prayer and fasting season. Remember, all that we ever know at the end of time, we never compare with what God shows. Or that we ever know. We are very limited in insight so that God can remain God. All oh, the depth of wisdom and knowledge, our unsearchable ways.